the San Juan worm. Um, <clears throat> I'm using a Daiichi 1120. I'm tying it in a size 14. I would also tie this in a size 16 and also a 12, depending on where you're at. Um, this is a very simple pattern. It's just thread and I'm using chenille. And I'm using ultra chenille today. And you can use tan and wine or like a darker tan color. I find these very effective for trout. Um, this is like micro, so you can see it's real thin. I use bubblegum pink. Um, super effective. You can use different diameters too. Here's like a hot pink. And you can see it's a little thicker in diameter. So that would work as well. Start my thread just right behind the eye because I don't want to crowd it. And uh, this pattern is really all about keeping your body nice and smooth because that's going to be the bottom of the fly. And it's also going to be the part of the worm that um, has that little part of segmentation on it. By spinning my thread, this way I'm doing it counterclockwise, this uni 6 aught tends to open up. It gets a little floss here. You can actually, you can see that right there, how it gets a lot floss here. You can give it a nice smooth body. If you get any of these weird little fibers in there, you can cut them off or pull them out, okay? But not a big deal. It's part of that thread. Then once I get back here, but right here I'm going to lay this piece of chenille on top of the hook and I'm just pinching it give yourself a little bit of slack in your thread but pinch come down you can do another loose one just get that out of your way pinch and just come down it keeps it right there I want to lock that down nice and secure but keeping it on the top and you can pull away the material the direction that you want it to lay on I want it to lay on top so I'm pulling it up towards the top of the hook and I'm going to do a nice, I don't know, four or five wraps right here. Really lock that down. And that's it. Pull this up. And I'm going to wind this back forward to where I began my thread. And I like doing a half hitch here. This will give the fly more integrity. Keep it together. You can also glue this right here with a little bit of Zappa Gap or something. Um, that's up to you if you want to. I'm not going to. I'm going to simply keep this on top of the hook. Once again, give myself a little bit of slack. Pinch. Come straight down where I want it. Pinch up. Down. Once again, pull the fiber. And I kind of pull this forward to lock this down. To really lock that down. I don't know, that's maybe about two inches. And you can trim this down as needed. So start big and cut down. And then I'm just going to come in front of this. I'm going to give it a couple of nice secure wraps. They'll really lock that chenille in, kind of force it back. And then I'm going to take a whip finishing tool. You can also just do a couple of half pitches. And you're just going to finish off the head with about, I don't know. I like to do four or five wraps with my whip finishing tool. And in this case, I'm going to do two of them so that thing is not going anywhere. And I'm going to lock this off with a little bit of head cement, some hardest hole or something. And this is your San Juan worm. And this will have a lot of action. Uh, throw this on your nymphing rig. It's a great um, anchor fly, especially if you add a bead to it. Um, but it's also just great underneath a dry fly. It's relatively light and won't sink your dry fly. And it's a great pattern. I've had extreme success with this trout fishing everywhere in the United States. Good luck. And if you have any questions, uh, give us a call at the shop.